Now joined by former Montreal Canadian and current star of the hit Crave show, Shorzy. Terry Ryan, good to see you. It's awesome to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, we're happy to have you because, well, we like hockey around here. Mm. Uh, so that means we also love Shorzy. So can you give us a little taste of what we're getting in season three? Yeah, you know, it's um, without giving too much away, mm. um, there really is, it, it, we, we um, you know, the, the production team, the crew, all of us together. Uh -huh. um, I'm really, you know, I act, I do what I'm told, but uh, I'm, I'm part of it, I suppose. We push the envelope here a little bit more. There's um, a lot of more depth to the situation, to, to Shorzy, to our team, as you'd expect. But the show really grows a lot. I watched it yesterday um, in its entirety. We're getting mm -hmm. ready for this press junket, and honestly, I was uh, I, I was very, very moved. I thought it was the best season by far. If you like it so far, you're going to love this. Yeah, I mean okay. that honestly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I love a good story-driven adventure, but how many fights are we going to get? Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of that going on. I mean, <laughs> the way you know, it's they're not long episodes, so mm. the way that. The writing just kind of weaves in and out and, mm. and, and, you know, there's, like I said, a little bit of depth of the characters and the situation and sure. the way that, yeah, the, the way this plays out, mm. uh, you, you could like any aspect of the game and really um, be very, very entertained. And, you know, okay. there's, there's a lot happening now to the guys and the girls mm. away from the rink that start to pose, I won't say problems, but curious situations okay. that... Uh, you know, I think you'll you'll laugh more than anything, but there's a lot of emotion involved. Okay, last time you were in here with the boys, uh, you told an outrageous story that I think is still our most viewed TikTok, or one of our most viewed TikToks. You told a story about losing your virginity, about hot sauce. Second game, I grabbed hot sauce from the table. I'm not <laughs> before the game. Washed my hands in the hot sauce. Oh my God. Put them in the gloves, <laughs> and I chipped my side of my helmet. And yeah. when he punches me, he's gonna rip the <laughs> out of his yeah. knuckles. So anyway, I I, I take a at the start of the fight obviously because he's hitting my helmet which is you know a weapon at this point <laughs> and uh, I see the blood though coming down I mean that's when rub my thumbs in his eyes he does this <laughs> he's about 6'4 230 pulled him kicked the living piss out of him <laughs> went off like this the place is sold out we go out after to a place called the four by and I lose my virginity <laughs> and then <laughs> yep what I'll, a night we went, what a night we uh, mm. I know that was probably one of your better stories, but do you have a second best story that you could possibly share? Hmm, maybe um, <laughs> losing that, I could I could talk about that. But, uh, you know, it's a long one. It's a long one. I did knock him out of my head with a sledgehammer, though. That's uh, how I uh, I lost him. I, I, I chipped my teeth. Uh-huh. And there's a lot to this story, so I won't okay. go right back to the beginning. But okay. I chipped my teeth. I was playing in Boise, Idaho. Uh -huh. When I got to the rink at the beginning of the year to start the season, mm -hmm. I said, well, now I can finally get my teeth fixed that I'm signed. And the, one of the trainers said, well, um, no, it's not the way it works. You've already told us you did it in the summer. Uh -oh. So I said, well, you know, what if I lose them worse than this? You're going to have to replace them nicely. You're not going to put... I kind of look like Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, that happened. And, well, I might as well. Tell it with the tooth out. So what happened was the guys came over. I said, give me three weeks. I'm not going to make it obvious. I'm going to smash them out myself and say I did it on the ice. And I, uh, yeah, it's, it's such a long, crazy story. But that's what happened that night. Anyway, lo and behold, we had a bit of a team party. I don't think mm. anybody really expected it. But mm. there was money on the line in the dressing room. I said, I don't want to disappoint these guys. And it's, you know, $10,000 in the end. Yeah. So I knocked right. them out with a sledgehammer. The first one I missed. You see, well, I kind of let up a little bit. You see this? Uh-huh. Yes. I didn't miss, but like the sledgehammer was so heavy that I got right here and I changed my mind. It's like six beers into, <laughs> boom. And all of a sudden it was just like blood going everywhere. So I, the next one I finished the job. I got to the <laughs> rink early and um, Bobby Stewart shot one up by my ears. We just went on the ice, to, you know, mimicking practice. Before anybody got there, and that's it. You know, it's I'm almost as I say it, I'm almost ashamed, but not quite. No, no. Uh, I had to wait ten. <laughs> the book, my book was coming out. Tales of the First Round, nothing, and uh, it was nine and a half years since that happened. And my lawyer said, you know what? Maybe you should wait another six months because okay. the statute of limitations will allow you to tell this story without being sued. <laughs> And that, there you go. <laughs> and that was as quick as I've ever told that story, wow. by the way. Okay, we're honored to hear mm. it. I mean, I feel like it's one for the record books. I'm sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm taking so much of your time here. This is actually a short show, but I, I want to hear more of your stories. Oh. I will um, end this, though, 
with something that's really important to me. So really, the most important question I could possibly ask you. <clears throat> Do you play beer league? Not beer league. I skate every day, though. We, we generally, in, in I live in uh, St. John's, just outside of St. John's, in a place called Mount Pearl. Mm -hmm. And at noon, pretty much every day of the week, there's a skate, the ex-pro guys, um, guys who play senior hockey's big at home, so mm -hmm. it's a lot of junior guys that are back. Okay. And that's how... I was telling the guys earlier, I played a game mm. in the East Coast League this year, the ECHL. Well, that, that's kind of why, because we, we all practice. Like, it, it's a good skate that goes on. It's mm. early in the day. I'm not against beer league. I just, okay. the later the day goes, unless it's going to be a real game, you know, of, of, of at least senior hockey or, uh -huh. or, or you know, high level of something. You know, uh, yeah, I just I value my time. I like to get a workout okay. in earlier in the day, yeah. Uh, no, I respect it. I'm not saying beer like, like you need to drink while you're... I while skate, you're, yeah. Hey, you skate. You skate and you play games with other boys who are good at hockey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair. See what you mean. So in these... Uh, on, in these games, maybe it's early in the day, if one of the boys happened to bring his sweetie to the game, would you chirp him or would you praise him? I, w you know, like I was talking about earlier, like chirps are fun. There's a difference between a chirp and an insult. Okay. And when you're playing shinny or beer league or any version of hockey after hockey, um, chirps are frequent. I insults aren't. But, but the okay. chirps, I, it wouldn't matter if he or she brought a he or she. It wouldn't matter okay. to me. I, they'd probably get chirped anyway. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's that's <clears throat> basically just kind of busting balls kind of thing. You know, yeah. it's, it's part of it. Okay. Well, um, I really enjoy going to my husband's beer league games. I'm one of the only sweeties in the stands, but I do, he's a goalie. And I do find that the other sweetie in the stand, if there is one, will be a goalie sweetie. <sighs> Yeah, well, you know, I guess if it works for you guys. If it was me, I wouldn't have you come into the games. No, I wouldn't. Wait, why? Don't it, you want it, me supporting you? No. No, not in that way. Supporting me would be not coming to sit there while other... That then, Like I said, me personally, I'd find a reason to chirp just to joke. But, but if you have if you take your girl, you're wearing a bullseye on your head. So, you know, it's it's for sure. I just wouldn't be me. I, I don't disrespect him for doing it, and uh -huh. I hope you enjoy the games. What are you doing, first of all, going to those games? It's I freezing really... cold. There's nobody there. It's probably like 21 to 19. It's so entertaining to me. These boys are fighting on the ice like they're scouts in the stands. There's nobody there. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, well, so, entertaining. so are you mocking your husband at the game? No, I'm cheering for him. He's the goalie, okay? But well, what you I'm find funny respect. about it is the... The other boys, yeah, not him. That they're all thing. stooping to that level, yeah, but yeah. he's just I'll kind of part of the play. He's yeah, yeah. I'll record him sometimes, make a little highlight reel of his saves. I think it's adorable. Wait, wait, wait. Highlight reel saves? Yeah. Okay. Never knew this. Do they have a video videographer as well on yeah, your well, husband's I'm, beer league team? No, it's me. I'm just recording him, though. I see. And you guys yeah. go over plays afterwards. This okay. is getting more twisted as <laughs> each word is spoken. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you're saying I should stop going to these games, or should is the wrong word. Okay. Um, if it's me, I would recommend. I I, I would no. please 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 I would plead with you not to go to the games. But if you enjoy it and he enjoys it, that's really the main thing. Terry, I'm trying to start a movement of beer league sweeties going to these games. I'm trying to get more. Yeah, but I out. don't. I, I I get it, but I don't think you're going to. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you do, it's great. I just don't think that's going to happen. I, I, in any world that I see right now that I've come across when it comes to beer league, shinny, whatever. Okay. Now I see what you were getting at at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would just hard no for me, but everybody's different. <laughs> okay. Terry, listen. Shorzy, season three comes out two episodes on our favorite weekend of the year, May Too Far, okay? Two episodes then, and then one episode every Friday following that. I'm so looking forward to watching this season and just seeing you shine, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate you having me here today. Can we call insurance? <laughs>